Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Rob and Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob. This is part two of our gardening uh, watering system and a few modifications. And uh, so I wanted to show you something I really want to plant is Walla Walla onions. And the other problem we got is we did asparagus and we found out that it's not going to work very well. So. I'm either going to get rid of the asparagus, try to give it away to somebody that wants to grow them, and replace them with onions. And I needed to get the watering system going for the plants up there. So I bought these little clamps here, and they're made for tie, uh, tie wraps. And I put them up, and they're sticky in the back, but they're not the good to last for a long time so each one of them has glue on them so I just put those up so I'll show you what it looks like they're under the rafters you can see all along the rafters here where I got my strawberries I, I put some of those clips all the way around in case I, something in the future comes up but there's little strap holders under every eave. And uh, so the theory is coming around here, as you can see them up here, and they're going to come to the corner right here and come down the side here, along here, and actually just tie into our regular system. We're just using a quarter inch hose. So uh, that was the one change we made. The other thing I wanted to show you is the asparagus. So it turns out asparagus can get really high in the whole works. Can you see a problem with that? So here's my asparagus. Here, 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 back there is a shoot. Anyway, I'm going to pull those out and uh, because they're going to get too bushy and it, it's going to block everything. So I did, <laughs> didn't know. So live and learn. So the other thing we did with the watering system is we got the tomatoes uh, on the watering system here, just tying them in, in right here. And uh, and they're in the sun more, so that's kind of good. So this is my newest thing right here. You get these at Home Depot. And it actually has a watering pot underneath it. And you fill it up right here. So it can go a few days without you watering it. So it's kind of kind of clever. But I'm going to put Walla Walla onions in here and Walla Walla onions and one or two squares here because Sherry's got peppers for the rest of it. So yeah, busy. And by the way, if you can't tell, the asparagus, not asparagus, <laughs> the spinach is out of control. It's you uh, you'll never go hungry if you got sp spinach here because we've been uh, get pulling spinach almost every weekend. We should have done it this weekend, but we didn't. So look how big they are. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll show you more when we have the watering system in, and uh, I got to get the uh, Walla Walla onions planted today. So anyway, thanks for visiting us on part two here. Hang in there. I'll show you some more. All right, we've. Put the final water system in for our little plants i'll show you in a minute what i did is i'm tapped into the system right here goes underground comes along the side of the house moves along the side of the house here and you can see it coming up the wall over here and along the rafters like that i know it's a bumpy ride and here's a little peek of what it looks like up here and then we'll come around here and you can see the little water systems are in here with little sprayers and uh, all three plants have got sprayers now one here and the last one is right here and it all comes up underneath here and I'm kind of happy with that so anyway I want to thank you guys for uh, watching I am going to run the uh, system in a minute. I'll let you see that and then we're in the, we're in the video. So 
thanks for watching really enjoyed the garden we're actually starting to pull um, uh, lettuce out already spinach got a little bit of radishes and we're going to pull one of the uh, um, broccolis uh, today so looking forward to trying that for dinner so we're really happy with our garden and uh, we are looking at expanding things and uh, we'll uh, show that to you too We have water. Look at that. So that one worked. Getting water out of that one. And last but not least, let's see what we got. We have water. Look at that. Very, very cool. Okay, one last thing I was gonna show you is we added the timer in right here. And uh, which again, feeds to the main system. And what we've done is we've set it up for five o'clock in the morning for 20 minutes. It will water the entire system and uh, go with that for now. When it gets hotter, we may run it twice a day uh, but uh, uh, one in the morning, one in the evening uh, to utilize as much water as possible uh, so it doesn't evaporate in the hot weather. So uh, there you go. Well, that wraps up my water system for now. It seems to be working. <laughs> and happy campers. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Rob, and Sherry's been on here a little bit. Anyway, uh, we will have follow up videos to our other gardening projects and some of our uh, harvesting. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching part two of Gardening with Robin Sherry. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.